this is kind of my recording area where we do our live streams on the SSBB Esports. There you have it. Nothing left here. Obviously the cars are in here. But yeah, here we are. I mean, look at this place. It's come out so amazing. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of mold coming through the wall. We've got to get that fixed before we do any work to the floor or the, the walls, because the plan is to paint the walls. That's one of the very first things we have to tackle. The damp goes around here, kind of goes around everywhere. Uh, there's some under there. This is kind of my recording area where we do our live streams on the SSBB eSports. I kind of clean, try and clean this up as much as possible and get it a bit more user-friendly. So if I'm working from home during the day, I'll be working from here. Use the microphone there, obviously, for my live streams. TV will be coming off. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna run this layout, but I'm gonna change all of it. This bumper has some sentimental value, so I'm not really sure. These shelves, um, these existing shelves, going to get rid of them and uh, effectively install new shelves that will be bolted to the wall. Right on the top we're going to install the solar batteries. Next to the, the DB board there will be a new DB board with all the solar stuff. The cabinet with the solar batteries will be there. The inverter will most likely also be up there, either there or there. So yeah, as mentioned, there's a lot of work needs to be done on this floor. So we're going for a very high gloss kind of industrial type floor. For the rest, we've just got to get everything out and ready so that the guys can get busy. I'm going for a bit of a different theme and the reason for that is I want to clean up quite a bit. So the red we're going to change to a dark color. Effectively I was going to install a whole new cabinet system here. We might do that a bit later. For now I just want to change everything. So yeah let's get to it. guy you see helping me here he's been helping me for many years his name is Senzu he's from Zimbabwe and he is really good at painting and just general hands so um, yeah he really helped me a lot with clean up and that and just getting all the stuff out of the garage what is up guys welcome back to the channel you join me here we are on day two of the garage restoration, overhaul, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so much has been done. Yesterday we spent the whole day ripping everything out. We took all the tables out, we took the big bench obviously, the table, the small table. We took the, the cabinets out, we took that massive cabinet and we had to unpack everything. I had a guy helping me. so because there's just so much stuff. It literally took us the whole day. All the, those shelves, we took those shelves off. Those are gonna get replaced. So yeah, we spent the whole day yesterday just taking all the little bits of stuff out, the covers, the tools and everything, move everything, put it back. I need to fix all the damp, redo the floors, paint, and just make it more user-friendly for filming with space and everything. So today what I need to do is I need to take that table off, get the TV out, the router, the cables, and all this other stuff. Every, basically everything. Everything needs to come out here um, so that the guys can come tomorrow and it's literally starting Monday on the walls. have it. 
nothing left here, obviously the cars are in here. So after that, I got some contractors in to do the waterproofing and correct a lot of the issues we had um, on the walls and plug all the holes. This was just because I was busy on other projects, but uh, unfortunately, I didn't get that footage. That's pretty much all the little gaps and holes filled, except for those, because that's for my desk. Um, and then this, it's almost like a primer, but it's also a uh, damp proof and kind of sealant. So we are ready for the floors. While the contractors were busy prepping the floor, I got busy prepping the table for paint, effectively going from red to black. Once I had prepped the table, I started painting it. Once the flooring contractors were done and out of there, we could eventually start with the painting. I couldn't paint myself because I had the coronavirus. I got that on day two already, so I brought the contractors back and they got busy. The results speak for themselves. As you can see, it's looking really good. So we've done the floors, the walls are done, it's coming on, it's been a lot of work, I've actually got a couple of guys to help me, just plowing away with the painted tables, the workbench is in, so yeah, looking good. That's most of my uh, streaming stuff and uh, just equipment and cables and stuff that needs to go kind of on this table. So what I've done is I've put in two shelves. The uh, top shelf is for the router. Um, the second shelf is for the PlayStation. Effectively, what I'm doing now is 
and there are a lot of cables that go to and from video cards power sources there's just a lot of stuff so i need to send um effectively i need to send up and down uh ethernet cables power cables and so what i'm doing now is i've put in i've put in the backing for the conduit because effectively the main internet line from the supply comes through there into the router but you're going to have obviously a line going to the playstation and then a line coming down to the main input for uh, for the pc so just marking up the conduit where i'm gonna just cut a notch in there there and there but man it's been quite an ordeal and then i've got to get to the power power supply um sections under here so what i'm thinking is i'm going to make some sort of hanger that hangs under there uh, maybe with pvc tubing that i can suspend with brackets and all the cables can kind of lie in there not sure yet i guess we're gonna figure it out So that is it thank you so much for watching guys it's been a bit of a long one but yeah here we are i mean look at this place it's come out so amazing um one of the things i have to say is those shelves those shelves have been a lifesaver just the amount of space i get from them versus those other shelves that were bolted to the wall is just phenomenal also my workspace amazing amazing um so yeah it's just it's transformed this place there is a little, little bit of work i want to do a few touches here and there i mean as you can see i'm busy with this renault now uh, the bm's coming back soon um super excited for that but yeah thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey if you've made it this far if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button and then also hit the notification bell. That's also going to let you know as soon as I upload any more videos. I'm busy with a few videos for this puppy. We're busy with the whole build on this. We're doing suspension, ECU, a whole lot of good stuff. So we've got a lot of good content coming. Um, but yeah, I'm just so, so happy with everything everything that's developed with this uh, garage and the overall so thank you so much for watching we'll catch you guys next time ciao